This was a requested tutorial. UV mapping is how we take a 3D mesh to a 2D space in order to texture the model. Think of it as unfolding a box and laying it out flat. The 2D UV maps correspond to the vertices, edges, and faces of the 3D mesh. The UV map is based on a U or horizontal axis and Y or vertical axis coordinate system. When you have a mesh unwrapped, you can select the vertices, edges, and faces just like you can on the 3D mesh. We can also select an entire island using the L key or box selection. You are also able to scale or rotate an island. You can check for stretching in a couple ways. You can use a UV grid which will produce a series of squares on the mesh where any stretch faces will appear as stretch squares. A second method is by using the Overlays drop-down menu and choosing Display Stretch. The darker the blue of the island, the less stretching there is. In the case of this mesh, there's some slight stretching on a few of the islands, as seen by the teal color. If you turn on the UV sync selection and choose one of these teal colored islands, you can see which one of the faces of the mesh is stretched. You want to avoid stretching at all costs. The only time there isn't a problem is when you're using flat colors. There are multiple ways to UV unwrap a mesh within Blender, but I'll only be talking about the two most common ways in this tutorial. The quickest and easiest way to UV unwrap a mesh is by using a smart UV project. This option means that Blender will cut the mesh based on the angles of the mesh. If I select the mesh and enter edit mode, I make sure I have everything selected, use the U key to open the UV unwrapping menu, and then select Smart UV Project. I now have a dialog box where I can make some changes before I unwrap the mesh. Angle limit controls how the faces of the mesh are grouped with higher limits resulting in smaller groups of faces but lower distortion. If I use the default and unwrap the mesh, I now have 13 islands. However, if I cut the angle limit in half and unwrap the mesh, I now have more islands. The island margin determines how close the faces or islands are grouped. It's important to allow for some space between the islands so the materials will not bleed from one island to the next. If I set the island margin to a high number, such as 1, you will see a lot of space between the islands. If, however, I use a small number, such as 0 0.05, you'll see a smaller space between the islands. What you use as your margin is up to you. I have provided a link in the description to a tutorial from Grant Abbott who does a deep dive into island margins. I'd really recommend watching it if you want to learn more. Area weight is the weight associated with the projection of the UV face. To be honest, I never changed this option. 
correct aspect means that the image aspect is taken into account. Scale to bounds means that if the UV map is larger than the 0 to 1 ranges, the entire UV map will be scaled to fit inside. For example, if I scale the islands so they're larger than the UV map, and then use the Scale to Bounds option, you notice that the islands are scaled down to fit within the UV map area. If I now add a material to the mesh, you can see some stretching of the brick pavers that correspond to the light blue area of the islands. The unwrap option is used in combination with seams to unwrap the mesh. To mark seams, select the mesh and tab into edit mode. In edge mode, select the edges where you want to add a seam. Then right click and choose mark seam. To clear a seam, select the edges right click and choose clear seam. Once you have a seam marked, simply select the entire mesh and use the U key to open the UV mapping menu and choose unwrap. Continue to add seams until you have the desired look. This would be a good time to either have the grid option or the display stretch option enabled. It is also important to remember that using this method may produce seams on your material, so be careful about where you add seams. If they can be hidden or on the back or bottom of the mesh, that would be ideal. Once I get to the point where there's little or no stretching, I'm done with unwrapping the mesh. Now when I add the paving stone material to the mesh, I can see there is no stretching like the previous Smart UV Project Unwrap. There are two options under the UV menu that you should be aware of. Average Island Scale and Packed UV Islands. The Average Island Scale option will scale each UV island so they're approximately the same scale. The Pack UV Islands option will pack the UV islands in the best configuration to take up the most amount of space available on the UV map. You may need to adjust the options to make sure there's no stretching or overlapping of islands. It is important to remember that you must save the UV maps separately before closing the Blender file or you'll lose them. One option to avoid this is by packing the UV islands within the Blender file. This can be done by choosing Pack from the Image menu.